Today we're going to talk about whether or not you can homeschool toddlers in India. Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel Parenting. My name is Ashley and for over a year now in this channel we've been posting about homeschooling and a lot of you with younger kids have asked us is it really possible to homeschool younger kids and i'm here to show you that you can so subscribe to stay updated on all things related to homeschooling we post new and helpful content every single week also stay till the end to learn what homeschooling a younger kid can mean for you as a parent as well so starting off, homeschooling has been gaining a lot of attention recently. And although it wasn't super popular in the past in India, it's slowly being recognized more and more. Now, if you look at it, places like America, homeschooling is super popular with over a million homeschooling families. So there are two ways that you can homeschool your younger kids in India. And I'm going to walk you guys through it. These are just the ways that are most popular in India. There are other ways as well, but this is mainstream homeschooling. So the first way is through CBSE. Now, a lot of homeschooling families choose to educate their children using the CBSE curriculum. And this is primarily for younger kids who are below the age of 14. And this just gives you as a parent a guideline to work around so you can make sure that your children are at par with other students their age. Now, an important thing to note here is that right now, as we're filming this video, CBSE doesn't let private candidates take 10th grade and 12th grade exams. So the board exams are not allowed. Although you can give home assignments to your children, attempting the CBSE board exams will not be possible. If you're a parent who's ever wondered, what am I going to teach my child? What curriculum am I going to follow? Then you can simply just buy the CBSE textbooks and follow their curriculum according to their age. The second way is through a board called IGCSC. And this is a more hands-off method. IGCSC is an international board conducted by Cambridge University in the UK. And there you can actually attend exams as a private candidate. But there are a lot of online schools that you can enroll into as a Cambridge board student where you can take primary exams and have teachers and things like that. So if you're a parent who's working a lot, then you can consider enrolling your children. You can consider enrolling your children into this board using an online school that will keep your children on track. An important thing to note here is that the government has confirmed that parents are allowed to keep their children at home and teach them at home instead. And I know that a lot of parents are concerned about homeschooling affecting your child's ability to enter into college or to work. Um, but just note that as long as your children write their main exams in 10th and 12th under a recognized board like IGCSE or NIOS, it won't be a problem at all. And another thing to note here is that um, a board that I talk about quite a lot, NIOS, National Institute of Open Schooling, that board doesn't take children under the age of 14. So you don't have a curriculum that you can follow through that. A lot of students follow the CBSE curriculum and then when they're old enough, they either shift to IGCSE or NIOS. Now, after talking to a lot of parents who have toddlers and who are homeschooling toddlers, I wanted to tell you guys some of the biggest concerns that they have or some of the concerns that they've overcome so you know what you're getting yourself into. Coming in at number one, there is the society pressure of it. A lot of people are going to say a lot of things about your decision to homeschool your children. Now, this isn't something that gets easier over time. Um, this is just a social taboo that's there. And it's something that us as Indians just need to work towards. Now, there are going to be a lot of people who are supportive of the decision and there are going to be a lot of people who have their own ideas about it. Again, it really depends on your ability to handle 
these ideas or these different ideas. Now, the second thing that you need to note is that regulating your children's behavior and just taking care of them is going to be different when you're homeschooling a toddler versus when you're homeschooling someone who's in high school. And that's just something that you guys should be aware of. Now, the third thing is that us as kids, our attention span is pretty less. And then when it comes to younger kids, it's even lesser than that. So as a parent, I know that a lot of people look at new and innovative ways to make homeschooling fun and interesting. And it's pretty important to do that because otherwise there are problems related to that that does come up. So it's important to keep homeschooling fun and interesting and not just about academics, especially for younger kids. And what it means for parents homeschooling their children is that definitely homeschooling younger kids is a more hands-on thing because you will have to be their teacher and their parent and all of these things together. Again, depending on your family situation, you can decide whether this is the right fit for you or not. But just remember that even if you are a working parent, there are a lot of ways that you can homeschool your child. Like for example, enrolling them into an online mode of education that will still let your children stay at home and continue their education, but it'll be a little less hands-on for you as a parent. It was so much fun hanging out with you guys today. And I hope that this conversation was insightful for you. And if it was, I would love for you to join the family by subscribing down below and just know that there's a lot of fun interesting content coming out very very soon so i will see you guys in the next video till then take good care of yourself and bye